so for the month of February, Microsoft has updated two new games for games with gold. First game is Dead Island, the worst fucking zombie game to ever exist. That game was so fucking bad, when I bought it back in, what is it, 2012 of August, I was so hyped off that game, fed into the trailers and got into all the hype, just like how everybody's hyping up Titanfall, which the game has not really been played by the masses. You know, the game wound up being so fucking terrible. Worst voice acting, horrible gameplay mechanics, and just overall generic cliche ending, which I think they copied off Resident Evil 1 with that fake Titan looking thing anyway. The horrible Microsoft. All the good games you've could have, you know, you've could have chosen for the first half of the month, you give us Dead Island. And the second game, well, the second half of the month, for the games with gold, will be uh, Toy Soldiers Cold War. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and uh, act like I played the game. I've seen a couple gameplay footage of it back in 2011 when that game first released, and it, it looks pretty. It looks like a, it looks like a bullshit ass game, like something that's not even worth your time. I mean, it's free, you know. And if you have games with gold, and you have an Xbox One, an Xbox 360, you can go ahead and go try that out. I mean, not Xbox One. I think it's for the Xbox 360. I'm sorry to correct that. So you can go ahead and go try that out. That game just looks. Eh, it doesn't even peaks. I don't think it'll peak many interests of, of of the masses. But you know, like I said, it's free. It's free, so you know you can't complain about free. But it's it's really horrible. Now, I want to throw my little two cents about games with gold, because I know PlayStation had PlayStation Plus before, I mean, I know Sony had PlayStation Plus before Microsoft had its games with gold, and I thought that, hey, you know, when Microsoft came out with it, that's like, it's like their answer to, you know, PlayStation Plus. Obviously, it's, PlayStation Plus is a great value for its members, and you wind up getting more for what you paid, right? So, Microsoft had to answer with games with gold. Now, I always hear people say, oh, the games with gold is trash, it's garbage, blah, blah, blah. And I always thought to people, why are you hating, man? I mean, companies do the same thing. If somebody comes up with a great competitive idea, obviously the company has to respond and do something to match or, you know, equal it, you know? And I, I can't deny, man, for the last couple of months, I mean, the, the best game I've seen so far was uh, Sleeping Dogs. But other than that, games with gold was kind of, it's pretty fucking weak, man. Microsoft give you a bunch of bullshit ass games, but they have some pretty decent titles, which they could obviously, you know, use at their disposal. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing like a Gears of War 2 or a Gears of War 1. The multiplayer in Gears of War was freaking epic, you know? Maybe Gears of War 3. Give us a Halo, Halo Reach, you know? Like, you have some pretty solid games. Maybe, maybe like a, you know? I don't understand Microsoft. Like, they, they don't use those excellent games at their disposal. You know, maybe give like a Street Fighter HD Remix Arcade Edition or maybe a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or, or Street Fighter 3, you know, what games would go. Make it more worth the play as well. Not these bullshit ass, you know, low end games that nobody really cares for. Anyhow, what do you think about games would go for the month of February? Do you think it's a pretty solid offering? Is it satisfying? I mean, I understand you have to pay for Xbox Live to do much of anything on a console anyway, but do you consider these two games to be weak or. It is what it is on that front. This is Jay Sil from SNN Tech. Let me know in that comment section below. I'm out, y'all. Later.